Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do basic crunches on the ball. It's very good to add these big balls into your abdominal program, especially if you're getting a little bored with what you're doing on the mat, or your abs are already a little bit stronger and you want to maybe do some more advanced moves. And a lot of people are confused, at least I find that they're confused, on how to use these nice big balls to work your abs properly. So, this is an abdominal crunch on the ball. I'm sitting on the ball, but I'm going to come forward just a little bit. Make sure your feet are on a nice non-slip surface and if they're not, what you can do is you can position your feet, your toes right pushed into a wall and do this exercise with your feet into the wall and it sort of gives you a little additional anchor. But I've got a nice um, carpet here that I can grip my feet onto so I don't need to do that. I'm going to lean back a bit. I'm going to bring my hands. Let's start off with beginner version. And beginner version is I'm going to have my hands crossed across my chest. And this just makes it a little bit easier for you, especially if it's your first time on the ball. Hands behind the head like this is tougher and you don't want to go over the ball and then hurt your back or feel like it's too hard for you. So let's start with this position. I'm, I'm walked forward a little, little, because what I want to do is I want to make sure as I go over the ball, you can see the ball is kind of snuggled into my lower back. That's what you want as compared to doing it like this. You can see I, my body intuitively just does not want to go over the ball because there's no cushioning there. There's no little snuggling of the ball into my lower back. That's what you want. So I walk forward, hands like so. As I go over the ball, I'm going to tuck in my chin a little. I'm not going over all the way like this, not very good for the neck. And then I sit up straight, and you can see what I just did with my posture there. I just did a little check of my posture. Again, I'm just imagining someone's taking a picture of me, and I just want to check my posture. It automatically, not only does it pull your shoulders back, but your abs pull in as well. So you get that little additioning, vacuuming in effect, and added, added um, strengthening in the, in the abdominal area. So I go back. And I sit up straight and I tuck in. You can see I just little, did a little pelvic push, so a little push out of my bottom here. Like so. So remember, if your feet are too slippery on the floor, push your toes into a wall. You can easily do this into a wall. And then you take it up, make it a little bit tougher by bringing your hands behind your head. And I would say, I mean, everybody's going to do the different number of reps, but I would say probably about 15 to 30 of these would be great. You can also hold a medicine ball on your chest. You can hold a medicine ball slightly overhead. Again, these are all ways to make it tougher. But another way you can make it tougher without holding any weights, any medicine balls, is to bring one leg a little bit closer to the other and hover the other leg. Okay, this is tougher. My hands are behind my head and I'm gonna lean back and up. So I've just right away made it a little bit less stable for myself. And that's what the key is with working on the ball and doing abdominal exercises on the ball. You're working on a surface that's not stable. It's rolling around. And that's great because your abdominals are going to just kick in and work that much harder when you're on an unstable surface. That's what they're designed to do. They're designed to keep you balanced, among other things. But that's what they do. So hands are behind my head. One leg is a little bit close to the other, so it's a little bit in the center. And I come back and up. Back and up. I still find that straight posture when I come up. Now if you want to make this variation a little bit tougher, watch what I do. I go flat out and I come up now. I'm bringing my body right forward. And every time I do, I'm still tucking in my abs, even though it doesn't look like it. I'm not doing this position. I'm still pulling them in nice and tight. I'm extending my leg out, but my leg is going straight out. Now, this is a little bit incorrect and will pull on your hip flexors a bit too much if you let your leg hang like this. So remember, the leg goes flat out. So think you're flat out, you're tucked in. You're flat out, you're tucked in. And you can do about um, 10 to 15 per, per side, per leg, and it's fantastic as a strengthening core exercise. And don't worry if the ball moves around underneath you. Every time you have to...